What's up guys, it's Valor, and holy crap, this is a big box. I was not expecting such a big package today. This is from Jomo. Uh, oof. I was definitely not expecting this today, but he said he had some stuff to send me, so let's get in here. Okay, there's a note on top. Okay. Uh, right on top, though. I mean, Kronos, that's always handy. I assume that this will be for the next, uh, one of my next builds. And a Deadpool set. Holy crap. I'm not sure if he wants me to just upgrade them and send them back to him, or what. I'll have to talk to him about that, but, uh, yeah. Uh, let's set these off to the side. <sighs> yeah, I have to have my, uh, camera kind of far away from my, uh, workbench this time, because it's just so, uh, it's a big box. Oh, it's in here. This is Worker, so. Ah! Rail fillers. Without the top filler bit, which is unfortunate. But parts will always be accepted, and I can always just print up top rail pieces. Uh, what's this? I assume this is lipo. Need a knife. Got a knife? Uh, yeah, I need a knife. Uh, eh, this'll work. It's a razor. I'm gonna double check this is a lipo. I know, dangerous to actually use a knife like that, but uh Ooh, that's a cool sticker. I'll have to stick it on like my car or a blaster. Look at that, the plague doctor. I think I have to make a plague doctor uh blaster now. And yes, these are lipos. These are a lot of lipos, holy crap. Oh, thumb screws too. That'll be handy, they're brass. Ooh. You have to. Let's see here. Let's see what all we have. Ooh, more stickers. Huh. And worker stuff. Holy crap. Site 11. Brass knuckle screw. Okay. From New Jersey. I accidentally sliced those stickers. Oops. Uh, ooh, turns you graphene. Okay. Let's get this open. Toss that box to the side so I can. Get to it later. Or is it a 3S? I assume it's a 3S. Yes, it's a Graphene 3S uh, LiPo. Now, I actually really like uh, Turnergy Graphene's because I have a slightly larger version. But now, I have a smaller version for myself and so I can make things fit a little better so I can use a smaller battery door. Because that that thing's a beast. Um, yeah. Um, let's get to these worker things real quick. What is this? No picture on the side, so I can only assume what it is. What is this? Ooh, muzzles. And the, uh, those little bits of tape they offer for, uh, so you can put on their, uh, muzzles and uh, on their barrel materials, and it looks nice. This is one, ooh, this is one that has the threads on it, so either you can get, like, the worker suppressor, Ooh, it's powder coated. Um, or I could probably design one that matches matches up with these threads. Need to get a good set of calipers for that first, though. Okay. Set this up to the side. I assume this is another one. Maybe it's in a different style. Yes, it is. It is more of a straight. Okay. And a slightly different twisty one, which I I think that looks cool. That'll be awesome. And is this another lipo? Oh, it's an artifact red cage. Don't see these too often anymore. Oh, and this is one of the uh, the Gen twos. I'll have to do something with this. Good for a HVZ safe build because these aren't these are stock uh, geometry if I remember correctly. And, uh, okay. Worker rail, always handy. Especially the injection molded type, so it's nice and durable. Worker stock. 
Ooh, is this one of the adjustable ones? Okay. Let's get in here. Ooh, it's a folding one. And no, it is not adjustable. Dang it. Oh, well. Um, hmm. What's this piece? It looks like it's where a, uh, a sling point would go. Hmm. Okay, that's... Is it up or down? I think it's down. So, push down. Is there a button? I'll have to look at this later because I've never used one of these. Uh, I think this is actually the, the stock that goes with the SCAR kit, if I remember correctly, uh, because I seem to remember the SCAR having that sort of cheek rest that's similar to a rabbit strike. Okay, what else have we got here? Whole bunch of... Oh, it's body kits. Okay, this is the body kit he was talking about. What one is this? The... Okay, it's all in Chinese and stuff. I can't read Chinese. Uh... More rail pieces, that's always nice. Uh, do, 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 do. What barrel is this? Oh! That would explain it. <laughs> it is a scar, okay. This is the FN scar kit. Um, oh, that's nice, the rail fits into there. That's really well designed. Huh. Good on you, F10555 worker. You have to get on that later. And that'll be nice. What is that bipod? Ooh, it's a Centurion bipod. Great if you want to make a sniper rifle. Hey, hey. Let's set it up to the side. Uh, rival battery tray. This one is from the... The Hera? because it uses C batteries instead of D batteries, but you can stick this into like a, a Chaos or whatever if you really wanted to, um, and it'll still fit. It's not exactly useful, but then again, I can always turn this into a large battery pack by making like a case for this and making it so I can stick some C cells in there for testing. So, I will find a use for it, Jomo. Some darts, Accufakes, always handy. Barrel material, which I actually have some orange uh, barrel material. Uh, ooh, can I show this image on YouTube? I don't know. Uh, it's from something from Kid Robot. Um, uh, yeah, I'm I, I'm trying not to show the picture on the side here. Um, let me open this up and see exactly what it is. It's one of those little final figures. Yeah, cool. It's got like the uh, the central fin like Ultraman and everything. Actually, I think this might be like the Ultraman model. Or it could be, um... What's his name from Guardians of the Galaxy? Huh. I like the art on this thing. I'm gonna have to... Gonna have to pilfer that. And put it on a blaster. Yeah, I think that'll look awesome. Again, thank you, Jomo. Uh, yeah. Set that down. Ooh. Whoops. What is this? Red and green dot reflex sight. Holy crap. I assume this is, uh, the gift that Jomo was talking about. Because I think I said something that I need to get myself some nice iron sights, and, uh, well, and this one has a laser, holy crap. Uh, wow. Thanks, and it has Picatinny on top. What else is in here? Okay, that's the battery for it. I'll have to put this together uh, in a minute. Set this down in here so it didn't go anywhere. Don't want to get knocked around. And here's the aforementioned strife. Oh, hey! Uh, print a battery door. That'll be handy. Um, I can print my own, but it's always nice so I don't have to spend the uh, the filament and time printing up one of these things. I wonder what material this is. It looks like it's made of either clear, uh, like natural... PLA or maybe PETG, and it's been vinyl dyed. And vinyl dye takes up um, into prints really well. A uh, nice inbox strife. This is an older model, like uh, before 2017, 2018, because the newer boxes have the strife tilted. Uh, this will always be good, even though I have like nine or ten st uh, strife sitting around in my workshop. Having another is always good. Foregrip, always nice. I like these uh, 
because just it's nice to have a spot to put your hand, even if I don't use it in the vertical uh, configuration because it's a little bit uncomfortable with that bulge towards the front. It'd be better if it were backwards. But um, as just like a shotgun grip, it's kind of nice. Maybe I'll turn one of these into a shotgun grip. Hmm. Maybe make a bracket that goes from the uh, side to some sort of pump grip. Let's work our way around. What is this? Okay. Where's that razor? Ah, I lost the razor. Um, here, I'll just use this saw. And this is one of my uh, favorite tools for cutting shells. Razor saw. I don't have a band saw, so this is the next best thing. And it gives me very, uh, very, very nice cuts because the teeth are super fine and the blade is actually thin. I, it's a little bit annoying that the, uh, the spine is reinforced with a really bulky piece of metal like this, but what can you do because this is a very thin, very flexible piece of metal. Okay, let's check what this is. Okay, there's a slate. And it's a strife. And I'm recognizing this pattern, actually, because I saw it in a recent, uh, no, fairly recent video from Captain Xavier. Ah, screw it. Where's that razor? Razor blade! Hello, razor blade! Woo! And I, yep, it is the... It is that G36 short strike. Seriously, where is that razor blade? <laughs> Here it is. Ah, something's stuck to it. Magnet. Ah. Trying to be careful and not nick the blaster. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna ask him what he wants me to do with this. Because I forget if he mentioned this or not in our talks. And I assume, what in the world is this? It's something. It's like a mock suppressor thing. That could be useful as a uh, barrel attachment, actually. got a really cool pattern on it. Someone spent a lot of time putting the, uh, all those little triangles of tape and stuff, because I can tell exactly how they painted it. This is nice. Kudos to whoever designed the, uh, the paint job on this thing, because that's nice. Ooh, it's spring-loaded. Is it... Okay. That is really cool. Turn that off. Close the thing. And uh yeah, I'll have to talk to him about exactly what he wants done. <laughs> the uh ooh, print quality is not bad at all on this uh piece here. The, the the block kit uh, guard. And that makes more sense with the, uh, the battery tray. Next up, and finally, it's a Nerf cam, because he wants me to upgrade one of these things, and I'm going to make a really nice Nerf cam out of this. I'm not sure if he wants me to go ahead and gut the camera and replace it with an Animo counter kit or not. I'll have to talk to him about that, but... There is a really nice set of parts for the cam on Thingiverse that I want to actually do something with. And I want to see how they will actually work so I can do a review on it. Because I am starting to do more review-based stuff. Set that down. But yeah... <laughs> I could turn this into a can. But yeah. The cam is a nice looking blaster. I mean, it's just a strife, like essentially with the cage and all that. The stock is a little bit short, but it looks really cool. It's a nice sci fi sort of blaster. And if I flat topped it, and a Picatinny rail like so many others have done in the past. That'll make a really nice sort of rifle. And the grip! That grip is so nice. I wonder if the Strife... No, the, the Rev Trigger is slightly different shape. But this would be so cool as a, a battle rifle. And that foregrip! That foregrip is so nice. Okay.